All right, how's it going, everyone? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more Undisputed. Look at that rank. <laughs> rank one. No wins, no losses, no draws. Still undefeated, never lost a round. What? I've never checked. I've, normally, I'm just doing quick fights when I'm making these videos, but I've never pressed on this. What is this? Prize fights. Obviously, I'm not going to go online because I can't be bothered with on online play anymore. That's a young man's game. I mean, coming up to fucking 39 this year, and I can't be doing with playing games online anymore. I'm more of a single-player kind of guy anyway. What's this, though? Are these, like, uh, challenge fights or something? Ben versus Robinson, amateur. Edwards versus Edwards. Joyce versus Fraser. Undisputed. Do we get anything for doing these? What is it? Is it just see... If you're gonna, like, finish it in a certain... in a certain way or anything like that, or a certain round? Connor, Ben. I haven't played this in yet. Uh, attempt available. Number of rounds 15, starting round 1. Knockdown limits. Doesn't say. 3 round knockdown rule. Foul punishment 1. Max penalties 3. What are we doing here? Have I just got to win? Is that it? I'll give it a go. Here's Frank. Not a mean, Harry. Not a mean. Be sure to check out the treats. <laughs> that was a terrible fucking Frank Bruno impression. Power punches in the right locations can cause your opponent to react heavily. Welcome to the WBC arena. So what am I doing here? Am I just is this just a normal fight? Is it like there's no conditions that I have to like beat him by a certain round or whatever? Coming out of the UK, the famous son of a legend who's beating his own path. Connor Ben, is this not? I mean, I've said it in the past. I'm a casual boxing fan, so. Fucking don't jump down my throat and not on here, but is this Nigel Ben's lad? I'm guessing. He just just the commentary commentator. Oh, I thought he might have said something there. With the commentator saying they're the son of a of a legend. I'm guessing it's Nigel Ben's lad. And I'm hearing people are saying Ray Robinson's the best uh, the best boxer in the game. When they're the playing online. I'm glad, I, I'm glad I'm not playing online. I'm, I'm glad I'm not involved in all that shit anymore, playing online games. Fucking stresses me out. People doing meta bullshit and, I mean, most videos when I tune into to watch people play this game, it looks, it makes the game look fucking horrific. Like, just spamming hooks but, or spamming metas, you know what I mean? Like, up and, uh, apparently, uh, I was watching Prioxys, Prioxys the other day and he actually plays, uh, plays tactically and simulate style and so does a lad called Stink who watches the channel. Oh, but most people who I, who I watch, who have stopped, like I've, I've just clicked on a random undisputed video, most of them are just fucking throwing spammy punches and they're making the game look fucking terrible. And I can't watch it, it fucking hurts my eyes. But uh, Pry was saying, um, in his, in, I was watching, I dropped in on one of his live streams and he was saying like the, the lead uppercut to the body is being abused a lot by people, and the right uppercut to the body, but more so, oh, nice body shot there. More so the lead uppercut to the body, and how, how much it tracks, and it very rarely misses. So people are doing exploitative shit already. He also shown, and I, I just happened to be watching his stream while this happened, he went up against the guy, and Pry got suspicious immediately when he was matched up with him. The guy had a, I think it was 30 and three record, so 30 wins, three losses. And Pry was saying, this guy's probably doing the disconnect the disconnect glitch. And I'm like, because I don't play online, I've not been following the online bullshit. So I'm like, well, what's the disconnect glitch? And so Fry was beating it, but got to like the seventh or eighth round. Anyway, Pry, I think he knocked him out, Pry. And the, the, the guy must have just like disconnected deliberately. Um, like, not quit out of the match, but like maybe disconnected his internet or something like that. Um, and it... it he does it, the loss doesn't go on his record, they both get the win. So, Pry doing, uh, doing the Lord's work there and exposing cunts like that and letting the community know about these fucking, about these glitches, like, and, I mean, why would you, why would you want to go online and, like, like, screw your record, like, like, bullshit your record with, like, glitch wins? And I know why, it's because they've, just for the bullshit ego of, looking at the leaderboard and seeing your name sitting at the top or close to the top that's like pure ego that you know what I mean imagine imagine being that way imagine going online playing games like that like in a meta way and and like who are you bragging to that you're sitting at the top of the fucking leaderboard do you know what I mean like 
who's impressed by that shit and, and the way you're playing the game to get at the top of the leaderboard. I mean, that's fucking... That's the most stupidest shit I've ever fucking heard. But, um, yeah, I, I wouldn't play this game online. I know there is people out there who like to play Sim, like myself, and I've had a few messages from a few of in the comments saying, let's uh, let's get a few matches together, because some of you like how I play the game, and you, you like the look of the Sim style that I do, and you want to play against that, because it's more fun. You know what I mean? You're not going up against spammy bullshit. You're going up, you're trying to have like a, you're trying to simulate a boxing match, you know what I mean? So, I appreciate that when some of you want to offer me fights in the comments section. It might be difficult with me being in the UK and most of you being in the States. My, my, uh, my connection will be fucking terrible and I think both of ours will be because it's, you know, both playing from across the world, but also my laptop isn't the best at running this game and I find it, it gets even worse when I, like during the beta when I was playing online, I, like I was having like terrible slowdown and that's also one of the reasons why I'm just sticking to single player because I feel like it's going to perform better without having the game to, to cope with the internet as well, but maybe one day we'll hook up with some uh, some online matches at the button. We'll see. But for now, I'm just a, I'm, I'm all about the single player for this game. But uh, yeah, there, there is a, a, a small minority of people out there who like to kind of use this game to what it's kind of boasting, that is its, its strength. And that's it being like a realistic boxing sim. But it can only be like that when it, if it's played like that. And like I say, there's a lot of videos I click on and it looks fucking terrible. Like I like I like watching Ricky Jay's videos. The Ricky Jay's a good a funny YouTuber. He's a he's a big combat sports sports fan, but I must admit, sometimes when he plays the game it looks a little bit spammy. <laughs> like some I was watching one of his vids the other day and he was a... I can't remember who he, who he was, which boxer he was, but he threw like five left hooks in a row. And I feel bad when I throw two in a row, because like, like I, I play with the sticks and sometimes it reads like an input twice, but if you're playing with buttons like he is, and you and a, a punch is coming out more than once on the same side, <laughs> then that's just, you, you're spamming that, you know what I mean? You're button mashing, and I was like, come on, Ricky, you could play better than this, mate. It was making the gameplay look terrible, but... There's loads of people in the comments section go, this is the best display of boxing I've ever seen. I mean, whether they might have been taking the piss or being sarcastic, I don't know, or, but I don't think they were. I think it's just people who are like, just Ricky J fans, and they're like, this is the this is the best gameplay. No one plays the game like you. This looks so realistic. And I'm like, fucking hell, are you sure, are you sure about that? Doing the John Cena fucking face there. Are you sure about that? But, uh, yeah, mate, you play the game however you want, you know what I mean? Fucking listen to me. Some angry, nearly 40-year-old on the internet, but uh, it just it just looks terrible when you see people playing it in an arcade spammy way. I've not I've not been paying attention to one ounce of this fight since I've been fucking yap flapping me gums. See if we can get some uppercuts going, like in the the Ricky Atom fight. We got had some su some success with the. They are landing better the uppercuts. They already. I'm noticing a, a difference. One thing I don't like, not playing on sim, like because I'm used to I'm used to playing on simulation with every fight. I don't like that I can't use all like the the axis blocking. It's like I mean blocking feels very limited. I can only block up and down. I don't like that. I like using simulation now. I've got I've got so used to doing it. Look at the difference here though in the stamina. Somebody did mention that in my comments uh, recently. They gave me a heads up about that. If you play in this mode, then the stamina is like a little bit more balanced. And I don't know if that's because the AI in this is on amateur. It feels uh, feels very similar to me though. Like I'm getting countered a bunch and. But I'm noticing that uh, the AI is definitely pacing itself with the stamina, and also my health is like still still above the halfway point, which normally by now it's like either getting close to halfway or or actually below half halfway. 
Oh, so that's weird how this mode is behaving a little bit different to the just the quick fight mode. That's, that's weird. Not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. Changes from both men in this round. I like that the uppercuts are landing more. That's a big improvement. Already landing more. Oh, big left hook counter there. tucked into the chest so we can avoid the pain of those body shots but come on that leaves more opportunities for head shots you've seen all the famous boxing movies the training scenes the gym work that's what it all boils down to I wonder what kind of um, like training sessions we're going to get in the career mode are we going to get to like obviously the you don't need to be they're probably going to have some kind of a punch bag that goes without saying but like are, there, are we going to have like focus mitts like a, a coach holding some focus mitts and he's calling out combos and stuff like that are, you know are we going to have like a, a maze bag like a, a bob and weave bag maybe an uppercut bag I don't know or like a wrecking ball bag are we going to have anything like that for power shots and obviously sparring normal sparring I'm guessing with head maybe with headgear against like another like another a sparring partner um like even just non sort of I don't know like things that are like where you're not throwing punches so like skipping or like lifting weights or do you remember who, 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 who fucking hell I can't even speak who out there remembers the uh, like Fight Night had some great great training uh, modes back in the day Fight Night uh, round one the first one had uh, the focus mitts which was one of my favourites um, Fight Night 2 had uh I think it had the combo dummy, and I think one had that as well. One had the combo dummy. It's like Simon says, but but you had to like remember the combo and, and repeat it. Uh, it also Fight Night Two had weights, didn't it? Remember, it, you'd, you'd like lift weights. You do like single arm curls on the on like those uh, cable machines. Uh, it had the the heavy bag that you'd have to like sort of knock across. I think that was in, was that in Champion. You'd have to like knock it across the the training room so uh, I'd like to see a, a varied and training that is actually fun to do and I know it, I know eventually you're going to get sick of doing the training but try and make it so we don't like there's actually there's like an excitement to actually doing the training I mean I know once you're about like 40 or 50 fights into the career it might get boring but uh, I don't know you could try and find ways to to get people uh, fired up about doing the training, you know, I'm thinking of games like uh, like EA Sports MMA. Like I really like that game, but when you start doing the training, you sort of only need to do each training camp once, and then you can just simulate the rest of the uh, sorry each tra each week of the camp once, and then once you get a high grade in it, like an A or something, you can just press simulate, and it'll just copy that grade for the rest of the week. You know what I mean? You can just keep simulating and you don't have to do it. And like, if you look at the, tra the training in UFC 4, it's just so fucking boring. It's just like, it's just sparring for six weeks, pretty much. Doesn't matter what opponent you go against, boxing, Thai boxing, wrestling, jiu-jitsu. It's just a, it's just a sparring session, isn't it? And then they have the heavy bag and that's it. Training in UFC 4 is fucking really disappointing. And you just can't wait to get to the end of it. So I'm open like the... Like, and that was another thing in Fight Night 2, the training would affect how your physique looked when you stepped in the ring. Do you remember that? Like, so if you did, like, speed-based speed, speed -based training, you, you, your fighter would look a little bit more shredded when you'd walk in the ring. And if you did, like, weights, he'd look a little bit more jacked. You know what I mean? So, like, and then you could get, like, a balance of the two, like, speed and power training, and you kind of just, you'd put a, bit of, put a bit of weight on, but you'd be quite toned as well. So it, the training actually had an effect on how your fighter looked, which is I've never seen done ever in a in a boxing game since then. This 
And that, I just think that was a nice little feature. It, it, you know, it affected the the aesthetic of of your boxer. It, it wasn't just like to 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 add additional stats. It, it had an aesthetic purpose as well. Oh, nice counter there. God, it feels really weird now not being able to do the six axis, uh, six axis, the axis block, and should I say? But yeah, it's a. Uh, they've been a bit tight-lipped on on the career mode, like what it's going to have. Are we going to be able to change weight classes? I'm hoping we get some good customization. Uh, I'm excited to see what the community does with the... Uh, we're gonna, I think we're going to have the share feature, aren't we, to share boxes, like, uh, you know, like Fight Night's Champion Ad and the WWE games are the, are the masters at, like, the uh, created, uh, created wrestlers and created fighter community. It's... It's incredible in the WWE games and some people are so talented when it comes to, to making created uh, fighters in, in combat sports games and I don't know if we're going to have game face um, I mean some people are just are, are really great really good at making things without game face so it, it wouldn't be terrible if we didn't get it because some people are just awesome at sculpting uh, likenesses in the in the in the virtual world like you know for us, for us all to share and use and add to our games. So I'm glad that's going to be a feature, the share feature. Just excited for it. I'm excited to get my hands on it. They've just not said when, when we're likely to expect it. Obviously, I want, uh, I want some good customization. I want to be able to change the look of my shorts, my, my shoes, my gloves, mouthpiece. Decent options for tattoos if you're into that. Maybe give us some. Uh, I don't think we'll get it because we're living in a politically correct fucking day and age. But with the uh, the first few fight night games, you could you could have a ring girl entourage. Remember that? You could have ring girls following you down to the ring. That was an awesome little feature. That they could get they could go up in price depending on <laughs> on what girl that you wanted. Fireworks on the intros, laser sh lasers, doves flying out. It had it all. You could buy different tracks, like music tracks. You know, give us a, give us something to. Um, like I'm guessing, I'm guessing we're going to be getting like money. You know, in the career mode, you get money for your fights and shit like that. And oh, beautiful right straight to the body and a left hook. Oh, beautiful. Lovely combination. Went to the liver and then went up top. Yeah, like make the money worthwhile to spend. In in because UFC even UFC four didn't do a good job of that. I mean, you'd spend your earnings on hiring other people to to come into the camp and train you, and that's it. Like you couldn't buy any any new. Co all the cosmetics was done with like the fucking UFC books or whatever it was called. You know what I mean? Like that fucking money system. Oh, nice combination. The uppercuts are actually working really well now compared to the last time I played it a couple of times. Uh, uh, a few videos ago, should I say. They weren't working at all. Now they're actually landing a lot more, which is good. That tracking update seems to have helped that quite a lot. Yeah, so let us spend our money on, on things in the career mode. A another example of a game that wasn't really good at that was uh, EA Sports MMA. You'd get all this money, you'd end up with like millions by the end of your career. But there was fuck all to spend it on. There was like, apart from uh, hiring, uh, paying for for different training camps across the world. But that was it. There was not on else. And you'd finish your career with like millions in the bank. Oh, nice three punch. That's one of my favourite combinations. combinations. That a liver shot, a right straight, and then a, a left hook up top. Oh, left hook connected. Oh, went for the left uppercut there. Oh, nice counter by Sugar Ray there. Sugar Ray Robinson with a right straight to the body. The scene where <laughs> in one of Ricky Jay's videos when he fought against Ray Robinson and he was calling him Ray Leonard. <laughs> the comment section fucking... Fucking tore him a fucking new asshole. Like, hey, it's, it's Sugar Ray Robinson, not Sugar Ray Leonard. And just because he, I, th I think some people don't realise if you when you're doing live commentary, it's just very easy to say the wrong thing. 
Like and, and you, like you're not even realising that you're doing it. I've done it loads of times. I've said, le I've said things like left hook when I threw a right hook, and you'd only realise it when you've watched it back, and or unless someone pulls you up in the comments about it. But my fucking hell, people were getting on his case about that. He'll never live that down. It is mad in live commentary when you do that. You just you say something and. You thought you said the right thing, and it, you don't realise until later on that it was completely the wrong thing. Oh. Oh, that's my favourite combination, that. Love that. Or oh, one of my favourites. Do, like, the right straight to the body and the left hook up top. It should it should be me, commentator. I feel, I feel like I'm winning this fight. It should be me. I mean, I'm not the greatest at judging fights, but if you fucking if you think he's winning this fight, you're fucking blind. Don't forget the AI is on amateur for this, which it pains me to be playing on amateur. I wish it was on. We will work our way up to the undisputed one. Of course, I do want to do that. I think it was it Joe Joyce and Joe Fraser. Oh, nice nice liver shot there. The AI feels countery though. It feels like very sharp with its counters, as if I was playing on on the hardest difficulty. It's just not doing it as much, like the frequency of the counters, and I feel like its power is not all fucked up in this mode, like that person in the comments said. It's a bit more balanced, although the, they did say for me to adjust certain sliders, which I've not done, but we'll go with it with the default sliders. Oh, nice counter uppercut there. Yeah, the AI is doing a much better job of pacing itself. Not every punch is a fucking devastating power punch. Oh, nice counter right hook there over the top. Oh, beautiful counter right straight there from Ray Robinson. Oh, I'm throwing ghost punches. Didn't mean to do that. Meant to block. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Got to get my head back in the game. Almost got a, got knocked down there. My God, this is the first time I've actually had a health advantage over the AI. Oh, big left up there from Ray Robinson. Oh, nice counter liver shot. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. You've got to be courageous when you're getting in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain. Then. Can they figure out the combination? Counter right straight lands again. Clean jab. Oh, and another counter right. Another scoring shot there. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. Oh, nice combination there. Got him with that counter up. Cut off that same side block. I'm not going to move, but then I've seen some mad punches with a chin like a crisp. 
As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And very close round with 10 seconds to go. Only got the one knockdown so far. Not seeing many cuts in, in the games that I've been having. I know it, you, I know the cuts are actually active, but I've just not managed to uh, to do it much in my fights. I wish the I wish the bob and weave was a little bit like with the left trigger. It, like I feel like they barely they barely change the level at all. Oh, nice counter right straight. Oh, hard power shot there from Ray Robinson. Having a hard time getting out of the way of punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm because oh, counter left uppercut lands. You make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Oh, big right hook over the top. I'm gonna get fucking rocked in a minute. These two are the perfect dance partners. He just missed with that left jab. Stiff jab. Cannot throw out a lazy jab in this fight. You'll get knocked down. Oh, big counter left off. Another counter shot lands. Countered on me well. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Oh, beautiful stiff jab as I came in aggressive there. I went for the jab, jab and a left hook right straight, but he intercepted me before the left left hook could even come out. Got me with a stiff jab there. I'm going for more combinations and I haven't threw any power shots at all so the AI is hitting me with a bunch of counter power shots you can tell he's stronger but he's not faster oh and that left hook hurt him You're a power puncher. You're not as concerned with how many punches. Oh, you nice counter again. About how many you land and how hard they are. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you've got to think of, you've just got to be smarter than him. You've got to be like a little Fagan, a pickpocket. A little Fagan. <laughs> that's what he said that the pickpocket, Oliver. Oh, hard liver shot. Neither man really defending themselves. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Nice exchange here from both men. Threw a power no shot there that landed the power right straight. For punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics sometimes. It's so hard to actually outbox a fight and beat them on points. Oh, nice footwork there, just cutting the angle and just evading the right, the power right straight that I threw. There are no losers in this one. Oh, hard counter liver shot from the AI. Oh, and a beautiful left hook there on the exit. This fight is closer than two pages and a book, Johnny. Yeah, we're comfortably up on the cards, but I still feel like I could get fucking dropped at any minute. Trying to stay in close. Work some of these uppercuts. 
Oh, beautiful shot there from him. Countered me. Another counter from him. Keeps getting me as I'm coming in. Oh, slipped off to the side. Got him with the right straight. Oh, and a right uppercut connected to the body. He's up. Is he going to have enough left to make it to the end of the fight? Got two rounds to go after this. Oh, nice jab, left hook and a right straight. Oh, nice return counter liver shot there. Both men step back for just a moment. Oh, beautiful left hook counter. Got me on my heels. Seven seconds to survive. We're all right. That was a ni nice counter, though. Got me with that big left. He's still dangerous. Look at this. It's actually my stamina that's getting lower. counter jab back and away there only returns with the counter uppercut oh nice lean back there got him with that right straight left up counter oh big left hook there lean towards that Hard right straight power, power shot landed then. Oh, counted me off, counted off the uppercut there, nice. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Good round. I don't know which fighter is winning this bout. It's too hard to split. Do you Let's do it. See if we can get another knockdown in this round. The last round now, is it? Can't see with me speaking in the way that I think it's fifth yeah, last word in the last round. Two hard uppercuts to the body there. We've got taken quite a bit of head damage there. I just noticed as I was looking at the UI. I don't normally get the luxury of seeing that when I'm playing on simulation. Oh, 
Oh, big counter left off. Oh, and I went for the right straight, but his left up got there before mine did. Oh, and an uppercut. Bit of a shady hitbox on that one, but I'll let it go. And we're up. He returns the favour with the knockdown. Ooh, a stiff right jab. Yeah, definitely slowing down now, though. That's it. One might have thought it was a little bit closer, but in the end, the referees are... And we get the W. This is the last thing we so what do we get for doing that? Do we... Just, just a challenge with no... Do you get any reward for that? But I'm seeing a couple of achievements popping up on there, but on the corner there, but I haven't got me... Uh, I, don't th I don't think I've got me Steam overlay enabled or whatever. Comfortable win. Score of 8,779. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> Just did that out of curiosity. Oh, look at that. Bloody hell, we've jumped up two ranks. Bloody hell, look at me. Rank three and undisputed. Still undefeated. Never lost a round. Chael Sonnen style. Prize fight win score 877900 XP. Oh, I didn't know you got XP for that. I'll do another one in another video, Ed Edwards versus Edwards. All right, I'll leave it there. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. I enjoyed that. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one.